What is going on everybody? It's Maddox here and first of all I just want to say sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird today. I am sick right now, I have a headache and my throat hurts and everything is basically wrong but I wanted to bring you guys a commentary because it's been a while since I uploaded one of these and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the perfect Call of Duty in my opinion. The gameplay you're seeing in the background is me sniping at first on Bayview where I have a few good moments but struggle overall, then switch to the MTAR and get like 25 kills in a matter of two and a half minutes. And I think that's a pretty entertaining gameplay to watch. Anyway, this video was inspired by Nero Cinema, who made a poll and a video on this uh, where he got feedback from the community. And this is just my perfect Call of Duty, in my opinion. I started playing Call of Duty in Black Ops 2, so I played Black Ops 2 and Ghost, obviously, but also. I have bought Black Ops and I have played a lot of Modern Warfare 2 with my friend. So I also know a little bit from those and I have included a few guns from COD 4 and World of War since they are they are legendary games. They are the probably the best Call of Duties ever in many people's opinion. And I've included a few of the legendary guns from those games simply because they always come up when you see it on the forums. I have chosen 9 assault rifles, 7 SMGs, 7 sniper rifles, 6 shotguns, 6 LMGs, 16 maps I believe, 10 kill streaks, 1 hidden kill streak, 5 perks and also 5 zombie maps that I would like to see because that's the bonus game mode I think would be absolutely essential in the perfect Call of Duty. And jumping right into the assault rifles, the first one I've got is the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 because that is just an amazing gun and just to disclaim most of these guns will be going to be super overpowered guns because it's obviously the perfect Call of Duty, it's going to be the most popular guns and the guns I like the most, which is obviously often powerful guns. Sometimes it's fun to run around with a goofy gun, but many of these are very powerful guns. Next up is the Remington R5 from Ghost, probably the most popular assault rifle except for the Honey Badger I'd say. Next up the M8A1 from Black Ops 2, which is my most used assault rifle from Black Ops 2. And we have the AK-47 from Black Ops, the Galil from Black Ops, the AUG from Black Ops as well. Then the M16 from COD 4, which is just a legendary gun. I never used it, but I always hear good things about it. Then I got the FAD from Ghost, which I think is a very underrated assault rifle and I enjoy using it a lot. And last up we have the Commando from Black Ops. So the biggest uh, game in this category is Black Ops with 4 guns from here out of 9. And Black Ops was very dominant by assault rifles. I don't, know if it, I don't know if it was because the SMGs were super weak or the assault rifles were just super good. But the assault rifles in Black Ops was just amazing. Now here I did exclude the AN-94 from Black Ops 2 because I think it's, it's very similar to the AK-47. It's not the same gun but it was the AK-47 equivalent in Black Ops 2. And I just think you cannot lead out the AK-47 from the perfect Call of Duty. Moving on to the SMGs, we got the MTRX from Ghost, which is my, probably my favorite SMG of all time. It's so good, I really love using it. Then we have the MP7 from Black Ops 2, the Thompson from World at War, the AK-47U, 47U, 74U, sorry, from Black Ops. We got the MSMC from Black Ops 2, the Ripper from Ghost, which I think is a gun I enjoy a lot. It's very versatile and fun to use. And then last we have the Bison from Ghosts. And the reason I included this is I actually thought about the PP90M1 from MW3 just to include a gun. But the Bison is a very similar gun. I believe it's a bit of an older model but I've tried it and I enjoyed the, uh, the post patch version of the Bison a lot. I also did think of the P90 from COD4 and the MP5 from COD4 but I've never used them so I just decided to take the Bison. Another gun I did think of is the PPSH from World of War because that's a gun. I've tried once in zombies and I enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot, it's just, it looks cool and it feels good when you use it in zombies and I would like to see it in multiplayer, but since I've never used it I'm just gonna exclude it. Next up are the sniper rifles and first of all I've chosen the Intervention from Modern Warfare 2, probably the most popular sniper rifle in Call of Duty history. I've seen so many montages with it, it's insane. Next up we have the DSR-50 from Black Ops 2. Uh, pre-patch DSR that is because the post-patch was just it was too slow to get a quad feed and I don't run around trying to get feeds but it's just weird to have a gun that doesn't fire fast enough to get a quad feed that's just ridiculous in my opinion 
Next up we have the Barrett 50 cal from Modern Warfare 2 and I think a Barrett should definitely be in there and the only Barrett I've used in Call of Duty is the MW2 one so I included that one. Then we have the M40 A3 from COD4 which is just a legendary gun. Never used it but it always comes up when you talk about sniper rifles in Call of Duty. Then we have the L96 A1 from Black Ops because that's just a really cool sniper. Quick scoping wasn't the best in Black Ops admittedly, but I still enjoy using the L96A1 a lot. And next up it is the USR from Call of Duty Ghosts, and then the VKS from Call of Duty Ghosts. And this last one I, was re I really didn't know which gun to include because there's a lot of snipers I haven't tried. I thought of the PTRS from World at War and stuff, but the VK is a very unique sniper rifle. Having a built-in silencer, I think that's very cool, so I decided to include it on the list. Then we have the shotguns, and uh, the first one is the Bulldog from Call of Duty Ghost. That's probably my favorite shotgun of the ones I've tried. It's super fun to use, just run around with it and go ham. It's absolutely amazing to run around with, it's so fun. Next up, the RA70 MCS from Black Ops 2, which is uh, a very, very powerful shotgun. I love using it. And we have the Spaz 12 from Modern Warfare 2, because it's, it's a super long range gun. I remember playing 1v1s with snipers and shotguns with my friend and he could absolutely snipe me across the map with this thing it's insane absolutely crazy how much range this one had then we have the double barrel shotgun from world of war because it's just a really cool gun even though you would have to reload every two shots it's just such a cool gun basically a hunting rifle i would say but in call of duty world of war i just Man, I love it. Uh, I tried it in Zombies not in Multiplayer, but it's just a super cool gun. I didn't think I could exclude it from this list. Next up, we have the M1216 from Black Ops 2. A four-round rechamber something. I don't want, know what the fire mode was. It was fully automatic. You could just hold down the trigger. But if I had four shot, and then you would have to like cycle the chamber or something. It's a very cool shotgun. A lot of people actually didn't like it, but I enjoyed using it a lot. It was fun. It wasn't the most powerful shotgun, but definitely a fun shotgun to use. And that's why I've included it. Last of them, we have the AA-12 from Modern Warfare 2 because it's possibly the most powerful secondary of all time. I've heard it was super overpowered. I never actually really used it, but I just think, haven't heard so much about it, I couldn't really exclude it from this list. And moving on to the LMGs, we have the M27 IAR from Call of Duty Ghost. It has no recoil and it's just a very, very good LMG overall. Then we have the LSAT from Black Ops 2, which was just super overpowered. And just saying right now, I'm not a fan of LMGs. And if they were this LSAT were to be in the perfect Call of Duty, you would not want the target finder scope or the fucking thermal scope or anything like that in it because it's just super overpowered. I don't like LMGs one bit. And it rarely used them. The only one I actually like is the chainsaw, which is the next gun on this list. And it's such a unique gun, it plays more like an SMG than a LMG and I think it's, it's super unique, super awesome to use, very fun and I just couldn't exclude it from this list. Next we have the Hammer from Black Ops 2 which is, I believe it's like a Scar Age with a longer barrel than the drum roll Mac and it's just a really cool gun with the, I believe the first 7 rounds firing at a higher fire rate and it was, it was a cool gun overall. All the LMGs in Black Ops 2 were, were very powerful and the hammer was probably my favorite out of them all. Then we have the RPD from Modern Warfare 2 and the M60 from Black Ops because they were, were they were very very good LMGs in the respective games and the RPD is a very cool looking gun the M60. The M60 had some weird recoil to it but it was super powerful and I couldn't exclude it from the list, from the list. Now I've also included two marksman rifle aka semi-auto rifles and I've included the FAL OSW from Black Ops 2, and I've included the MK14 from Ghost, maybe the M14 from Black Ops instead of the MK14. It's very similar guns, the MK14 is just a more modernized version I believe. But I thought it's the only semi-auto rifles, uh, assault rifles at least in this game, and it's a new we weapon cat 3 in Call of Duty Ghost, so I wanted to include at least two of them. Moving on to the maps, we have 5 maps from Modern Warfare 2, we have 3 from the original Black Ops, we have 7 from Black Ops 2 and 1 from Call of Duty Ghost. I haven't played any of the other Call of Duty so I will not include any maps from there. But we have Modern Warfare 2 Terminal, Scrapyard, High Rise, Rust, Afghan. We have Black Ops Firing Range, Summit, 
Nuke and Nuketown. Then we have from Black Ops 2 Grind, Raid, Standoff, Hijack, Slums, Rush, and Frost. And from Ghost we have Strike Zone. And as you can see there's a lot of Black Ops 2 maps and some of them aren't really that amazing maps. There's probably way better maps. For example, take Slums and probably even Frost. There's way better maps probably, but I just haven't tried them since they may be in COD 4 or World at War. But these are the maps I've picked. Now moving on to the streaks, I haven't specified whether it's kill streaks, point streaks or score streak. So, um, I have chosen 10 streaks plus a hit and kill streak uh, and I've tried to balance it so there is some high end streaks, there's some low end streaks and some mid range streaks I guess you can call them. And some of them I have specified the game where they are in, some of them I haven't because it's just irrelevant. Now we have the UAV and the counter UAV first. They're in basically every game except for Call of Duty Ghost where we have the sad comm instead, which sucks. Then I have the care package because it's just been such a important kill streak. Not necessarily important, but it's been a very popular kill streak in almost any Call of Duty. Then we have the sentry gun from Black Ops 2 here. You could destroy it with an EMP, but you couldn't knife it, which I thought was very good. And also the sentry gun in Black Ops 2 could be super effective, but it was also easy to take down, which I think is a very important thing with a mid-range kill streak. And then we have the war machine from Black Ops 2. It was just super fun to shoot noob tubes everywhere and just it destroyed basically. It was shit in zombies, but in multiplayer it was an absolute beast and I really enjoyed using it. Then we have the Blackbird or Orbital VSAT from Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Probably my favorite streak of all time. It's just a super good streak. I enjoy getting gun kills. And the VSAT helped me out with that and also when I was new to Black Ops 2 it gave me some it gave me a target to go for. Like the VSAT for a long time was like my highest streak I would use because it was a very very good streak and things like the sentry gun and stuff it could help me get to it faster. So I always enjoyed going for the VSAT when I was a Christmas new back back in Black Ops 2. Then we have the Escort drone from Black Ops 2. We have the chopper gunner from Black Ops because that circle of death, it's just amazing. Then we have the AC-130, the Swarm, and the Hidden Killstreak being the MOAB. And I thought of the Chem Strike here, but one thing I don't really know about the MOAB that I do know about the Chem Strike is you can use Highlight and you can get assist counts as kill, and it counts towards your killstreak. I don't know if that works with the MOAB, but I just decided to go with the MOAB because it's basically the same thing, and I'm not sure if this works, if it works that way, but I just prefer getting 25 gun kills in a row rather than maybe getting 22 and some assist and then you get the chem strike anyway. And now the perks, I've just included 5 perks and that's because they're very beneficial I think. And first of all, toughness and or focus from Black Ops 2 and or Ghosts. And uh, I think they're very important perks since I've played since Black Ops 2. Uh, those are perks that I really enjoy using. up. I have them on almost all of my classes except for shotgun classes and hipfire classes. It's just a very very good perk overall. Then we have dexterity or ready up which is also a very beneficial perk because I like to rush a lot. Then we have sleight of hand which I missed a lot in Black Ops 2. I don't use it all that much in Call of Duty Ghosts except for when I run specialist. But in Black Ops 2 I would really like to see it. I think it's an important perk in any Call of Duty game to have the option to reload very fast. Then we have ping and that's not because it's a beneficial perk, it's simply because it's a cool perk and I would like to see it back. It helps out rushing and uh, counter counters camping. And last perk we have ghost and I know I've just said counters camping but the ghost version I want is the Black Ops 2 version where you have to move which encourages rushing and stops ghost campers which I think is very important. Last of all we have the hidden game mode or the special game mode which is going to be zombies. And I have gotta admit, I really enjoyed Black Ops 2 Zombies, that's kind of where it all started for me. So I have included quite a few uh, Black Ops 2 maps here. I've got Mob of the Dead, Die Rise and Origins, then I have Ascension and I have Kino. And it was very difficult to just choose 5 maps because I've tried them all and I enjoy almost all of them. There's a few like Transit that I really don't like, but picking my favorite 5 maps, it's really difficult. I really enjoy Call of the Dead, Reese and stuff. But these are just the maps that I think I enjoy the most and that's just why I chose those. Anyway, this was my perfect Call of Duty. Let me know in the comments if there's something you disagreed or agreed with. 
And make sure you slap the like button and subscribe if you're new. This is Maddox, and I'm signing out.